So this is directly after the uh, the 120, 160 session. Um, as you see, I still have the same stuff on. I'm going to do some sod presses now, and I kind of wanted to talk about some things that went really well in the snatch and just about uh, the training plan moving towards May because today gave me a lot of information. So you would have seen um, the previous video to this, this one, so the Saturday training. I did not train very well. Um, I managed to do 120 after missing it a couple times and then doing a really difficult attempt. And then today made it look a lot easier. Now, the first thing outside of training that helped was sleeping a lot. So I was um, using my little uh, alarm app. It tracks how much you sleep and you're snoring and whatnot. I was in bed for 10 and a half hours and I slept, according to it, I slept for about eight and a half hours. Um, so I probably honestly slept more because it's not always entirely accurate in the amount of time that you're sleeping because it is obviously estimating but the time in bed that's the that's the metric that is pretty objective and one that i want to make make sure that it's north of eight and a half hours each night obviously during spring break i should be able to have as much sleep as i want but one of the keys to getting more sleep for me um i guess this is a symptom of getting a bit older is that i still wake up early so i just have to go to bed at a somewhat so somewhat regular time um, so it can't be like one in the morning. Not that that's like a crazy late time, but I still wake up at eight o'clock <laughs> no matter what. Um, so if I go to bed at say 10 or 11, then I'm going to be getting enough sleep, even if I'm not setting an alarm, uh, which I don't have to during spring break, um, but I'm still waking up that early. I guess it's one, one thing you have to look forward to when you get old is that your body's alarm clock just gets set. And um, it's something that has actually been the case for a while. So I'm going to set up for this first so I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to do some sots press. Um, so I'm just going to get this up there. I have the, the mics kind of pressed on my neck. So if the sound is a little bit messed up, I do apologize for that. If it's uncomfortable, I might have to adjust them. But uh -oh. do a set here. These are what I need to do a lot of. <sighs> Probably hear all the crackling in my shoulders. It's actually my right shoulder crackling. And now my left. So the, uh, so besides the sleep, that obviously was a very good aspect and something I need to obviously make sure that it's a consistent thing. And I think some of that was just getting a bit of a cold, a bit stressed from school and just not being, you know, completely committed to going to bed at, at the correct time, which is really what it comes down to, and not getting enough during the week, which kind of led to that session yesterday, kind of going crappy. But that session is an indicator of how my snatches have been going because my snatches have been going pretty crappy <laughs> far beyond the last week. And I think today I actually had a bit of a breakthrough. And it wasn't just because I randomly got to 120 without missing, but I was able to feel like I didn't really have, I felt like I had a really good chance of doing it um, today. And the big difference was actually, of all things, um, oh, it's raining out there, a Gabriel uh, Syncrane video, which I was just scrolling and it was just like how to do the hook grip. And I saw the thumbnail and I was like, it kind of looks different than how I hold the bar. So I guess, uh, <laughs> which isn't altogether surprising when you think about that's how much tension I have in, in general when I'm doing all these lifts. But I was I was choking the crap out of the bar. And I always just kind of hook grip by just grabbing my thumb and however, you know, however which way. I never really thought about the the tension in my fingers or you know where I'm holding. I was just grab your thumb. Because when I started doing deadlifts back in the day, there wasn't there's not a technique where you just grab your thumbs and go. And for conventional deadlifts and for cleans, you don't really have, at least in my case, or in my experience. There's not really like, oh my goodness, like how my hands are, my hook grip is limiting me, how I'm doing it. It's just like, you just do it. And uh, with snatches, I've always snatched better with straps than without. And I think that's true for most people. But when I looked at his video, I was like, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do out here today. Cause I didn't know if I was gonna feel good, like I ended up doing, or if I was just gonna come out and just do um, some lighter work. So I was like, I'll mess with my grip and see how that feels. So I didn't change the width or anything, but I changed the, the tension on the bar not really even so much the, the tension but just decreasing the amount of grip that i have on the bar and essentially instead of just grabbing my thumb and i would just grab it probably with three fingers honestly i never really thought you know how i did it exactly but 
I grabbed it with two and really emphasized the first three fingers on the bar versus my whole hand being on the bar and tried to loosen my ring finger and pinky actually and just trying to have a lot of tension. And then as I'm turning it over, trying to punch up with the, the J hook of my hand. And what I noticed um, with the reps is that I was feeling really locked in um, as I was catching it and the bar was getting in a much better position. And I think some of that too is I yesterday because I was frustrated and today I've done a ton of stretching and hanging and shoulder mobility. So I think that is something I have to keep up as well because um, that will be a huge, obviously just a good thing to do in general. If I do have some immobility, which being a larger person in general, I'm probably gonna have to deal with anyway. But what I noticed is that the bar was a little bit further behind me. I felt a lot more stable and really felt stable all the way until the, the misses at 125. And like the 125s felt like I could, could have done it if I was just a bit stronger in my overhead position. And I think if I had been a lot more consistent with um, my reps at 120, then it's like, that's the biggest thing holding me back from doing it right now is that I just don't have the the volume at 120 successfully. So the, uh, the hook grip felt really different, but in a good way. So I think what probably helped, let me do a set of five here. No, that was five. We'll do one more. So I forget what I was saying, but because I had the bar a little bit more in my fingers and not so much in my palm, I think that allowed my arms to be a bit looser and allowed my turnover to be a little bit faster and just more consistent as I was building up, which uh, that's about the only thing I can think of. I tried to do a little bit of the cleans, but the clean grip, I just, I didn't want to overthink it. And I think it helped a little bit because at least I think my ring finger being on it just put it too deep into my hand. And um, I tried to do a little bit with the cleans as well. And basically anything you do that helps with the snatch helps with the cleans. So my cleans felt pretty decent. And as you notice, I didn't, I didn't have a belt on today. I don't think that's necessarily an indicator that, you know, the hook grip improved my clean necessarily. I think it's just an indicator that I'm actually strong right now. And I just got to get better at snatching, hence why I'm doing these. Um, let's see, this was 30. We'll just do a small jump. Keep, keep all these baby plates on for now. So, as you're saying, this will be uh, one of the things I'm doing to uh, work on the things. And I've been I've been doing them a little bit, but I kind of want to really, really do a lot of volume in these, especially in like a heavy session like this. This will be a perfect movement to do um, after. And then this week of training, I want to really emphasize that grip and just making that, just hone that in and just make all my reps feel good like they did today. And then I'm just going to build, you know, better, better patterns and uh, more consistency with that. So that was a really nice thing for clean jerks. I just felt good, I guess. I don't know. It was interesting. I didn't really, once I did 145, I was like, I felt like we're going to at least clean 155. And then when I jerked it, I was like, I kind of want to try more and 160 seemed like the good good mark and I didn't want to try anything more because the clean felt pretty heavy and I didn't have the best overhead stability on that one I haven't done 160 in a while either so it's one that's like I was already you know using all of my hype for that but I mean a 280 total on a day where you know I had a decent chance of doing uh, 125 and I think um, as I get closer to May 4th I think that's when the comp is so I have like five weeks if I can get consistent with 125 then I'll feel really good for the competition, but like if I'm hitting 160 on a regular basis, that's already better than what I did in the previous prep where I did, I think the most I hit was, I don't even know if I hit 155. I feel like I cleaned it and attempted it once. So like the fact that I'm doing it now without a belt and pretty, not easily, but like pretty competently, like I didn't have to double bounce or anything. Um, that's definitely setting me up to feel like I'm, I'm gonna be in a good state in with about five weeks from now. So today was also a day where, because I've been snatching so poorly, I was like, well, if I'm gonna, uh, as I was feeling better with the snatch, I was like, if I'm gonna lift like crap today, then like, I'm not gonna kill myself to, to do a meet in May when I'm just gonna snatch 120 or miss it three times. <laughs> so as long as, and I think this week will really kind of uh, solidify my mindset of whether I wanna do it or not. So I'll probably sign up next Sunday um, after I have one more heavy day 
to see if I can actually do the 125 because I think I am actually like one good week of training from that. And if I can put that together with, you know, whatever claim jerk, honestly, I'm not as worried about that, then I'm going to be really confident to uh, sign up for that and feel like I have a good chance of doing the, the 130. Ugh. But we got, got work to do, which is why I'm doing these. So we'll do five more. I was trying to really really contemplate like changing my training but I don't think now with that kind of technical fix um, with my my hook grip for the snatch I think now it's just kind of building the reps and building the the tolerance so what's that 35 so I can put on a green and building the practice with uh with a better hook grip which honestly that might just be like a breakthrough for <laughs> snatching for my life because I feel like uh I've always snatched really well with straps relative and I think that's because my hands have the correct amount of tension and I think it's probably I think it's true for probably every single person that does weightlifting but I felt like uh especially even like uh all right I'm losing my train of thought I'm trying to get these off they're kind of stuck on there with like power snatches and stuff I would always do better with straps and I think a lot of that's the turnover that pop once you get to your hips which is you know, maintaining your arms in a in a good position. And when I try to do power, it's about then I end up choking the bar too hard. And makes it so I just don't have that last little bit. I could be wrong, but they certainly felt really good today. And I certainly want to continue that momentum um at least into the next week to really solidify it. And if I'm finding that you know this is truly just a one off session and all my snatches are still feeling really crappy and I feel like I'm not going to have a lot of confidence going into it that I'll look for something in the summer potentially um, or might even wait until the fall because I there's no timetable for me I'm not trying to qualify for anything it's just personal progress but certainly makes me feel really good today especially with like how bad I, I felt yesterday and how good I felt today that if I continue to do everything um, recovery wise and really kind of hammer the mobility I think that's been a, a underrated thing as well I'm um, doing that yesterday and today that's only like two days of like doing a ton of shoulder mobility so i think doing that is going to help um build as well as you know this movement right here will also be a good one but let's start and stop make sure i'm not going to run out of time on this so i was only about 13 minutes i think it gives you like 20 or 25 but not too worried about that i have two separate clips so this will be a mic'd up video if you saw the title and it's kind of just like a, a post-mortem on you know the plans and also, you know, the previous lift, as I, you know, just got done talking about. But um, I think that as long as, because I don't have, like, shoulder pain or, like, issues with, like, getting into a range of motion. I just feel like my left arm is weaker and it turns over slower than my right one. So I need to, A, get it stronger and, B, get it more mobile or at least uh, get my whole back and everything more mobile. So I think that will just help in general. Probably, honestly, help with clean jerks, too. Like, just being my upper body, just stretching that more. Because I think I've done enough lower body work. Uh, mobility wise to feel good about you know everything there but i don't know i think i think today was definitely a good indicator that if i do everything correctly if i do mobility i used massage gun today you know ate enough do all the little things and then i come out here and train better if i do what i did yesterday don't sleep much just try to go and just you know attack weights that i don't have any business attacking then i'm just gonna feel like crap like yesterday um i didn't even want to do <laughs> once i did 110 i didn't even want to clean jerk more and it, it just felt so bad and today you know obviously it did 50 kilos more than that so it's a, a huge difference a day can make but also a day of a sleep and recovery so i just have to uh continue to really really do all all of the things correct and i think as long as i continue doing the same kind of training i've been doing training isn't um the training is, is fine and it's working and i don't think that is the bigger issue it's Trying to get good at accessory movements like this so snatch balance you know doing that 145 is fantastic but it also has to correlate to what i do from the ground it just shows that i have the the shoulder strength and stability i have a like a blood blister from the uh the wrist wrap 
is interesting. But I have to build that obviously from the ground as well. It tells me that, you know, I can stand up any weight um, that I stabilize, but I just have to, you know, get that stabilization. And for a movement like this will be good, snatch, push, press, you know, all the, all the general movements will be good for that. But trying to build squats and everything, you know, still trying to build them because I think that's just generally a good thing to do for training, of course, but just really trying to emphasize this like overhead stability stuff. And I think honestly, a movement like this, um, I don't necessarily care what weight I get to, but just doing it a lot, I think will be good. Not necessarily every day, but I think on heavier days doing this after and then having a day like tomorrow being lighter in the classics and then doing um, some squats and some pulls. So we're going to do a, a stiff legged muscle snatch. Oh. So even there, like I feel like my left side just locks out a little bit slower than my right. So I think just hammering the mobility, hammering the mobility will be the big key as well as, you know, getting stronger. But a diet, you know, I'm, I'm not losing weight or anything like that. So doing all that stuff correct. I just have to get my uh, overhead stability, overhead strength better. I need the left shoulder just to be really strong. Oh, these are crackly. All right, so do five here. Honestly, like these are getting a little bit easier. I think I did 70 the first time I did it, but I don't know how strict that really was. We're gonna go up to 50. I know I've, I did five kilo jumps, but we're gonna throw the white on there. I think this one will be an AMRAP set. So do at least five, see if we can do 10. And just get a nice little pump. Whew. It's a good mobility exercise too. I'm gonna write down these sets I've done. So I did 20, 30, 35, 40, and now 50. <sighs> I think another thing that impacted my, my lifting yesterday is going way too hard on the Friday prior to wanting to do a heavy day with the, the 110 snatch and the 135 power clean. I just have to keep that in mind because that was a really good productive day of training in a, in a vacuum, but it's not gonna allow me to do really well um, the next day. I'm very happy that I did the 135 power clean. That correlates obviously to me feeling good for the clean jerks. Doing the 110, you know, it was good to, to be able to build that consistency, but now I kind of have that technical focus and it's a very easy one. It's just trying to reduce tension in my hands and just trying to just have the correct kind of foot grip on the bar, at least a proper one and not one where I'm just gripping the crap out of the bar because that's just going to make me move slower, especially in the turnover. So building that, but realizing that on a Friday that I need to actually have like a lighter day and uh, not kill myself if I want to actually have a good measurement day on that Saturday. Um, besides that, I'm going to do this AMRAP set here and then be done, but I'm probably going to be going to Columbus either Friday or Saturday to go to um, a different weightlifting gym. And then potentially on Sunday or Monday as well, but I haven't decided about the second because um, I'll be up when I'm near my house in Canton, Ohio, or that's where the gym's at in Canton, Ohio. But I haven't decided that yet. It'll kind of just depend on how I'm feeling um, after either Friday or Saturday. Chances are if I go to Columbus on Saturday versus Friday, then I'll probably just take Sunday off entirely and uh, spend you know Monday driving back. But if uh, I lift Friday, then Sunday or Monday could be potentially a day to train. That's kind of hard to for me to really make that decision now because it just kind of depends on which day I lift in Columbus. One of those days. But the uh, Friday or Saturday this week that um, I lift in Columbus will be the perfect day to go heavy, of course, and to hopefully hit better numbers than I did today and to build upon the momentum from this session. So I have to be smart this week and not just, you know, go to max every day, but uh, actually try to like build some practice and, you know, kind of treat it like a competition week. Cause then after this 
week of training, then I'll really be kind of in, in preparation mode. So I'll kind of have to be pretty uh, specific with what I want to do and pretty, uh, potentially pretty bland with uh, the exercise selection, you know, just snatch, clean, jerk, and not really a ton of variations for the last four weeks or so. It kind of depends though. I think if uh, I start to feel really good this week, the mobility starts to help and, you know, I'm sleeping a lot, then I'll kind of really show me that, you know, I'm going to be ready for, for May. And I think uh, in a perfect world, I'll lift in May and then at that same place in November and kind of give me, you know, several months of training in between. But yeah, my practice. So like, it's kind of hard to tell with it, but I was like really kind of gripped in. And so like my pinky and ring finger were really gripping the bar hard. And now I just kind of relax those two fingers and just keep all the tension in the front two and even try to relax those a bit, but focus on my pointer and my middle finger holding my thumb and my pinky and ring finger just kind of being where they wherever they're going to be and not focusing on trying to grip the crap out of all of my fingers on the bar because i think that's what i was overemphasizing before because so i was like my hook grip sucks my turnover i need to you know get a better grip on it but i need to actually have a more relaxed grip because the hook grip will do the work for me so i might even add them into like muscle snatches do hook grip with those just to emphasize it with as many different exercises as i can but kind of push my j hook down of my fingers grab my thumbs and then just have a relaxed relaxed hand and long arms and just do another <laughs> do another stiff leg muscle snatch <sighs> all right so we'll see if i can do more than five <sighs> and then i'm gonna do some stretching again I think just hanging, that's going to be the biggest stretch I do. That and just internally stretching my arm. All right. backwards on that eighth rep but happy with that definitely felt uh, difficult Whew. I'm a little dizzy from that <laughs> I think just sitting down and being in that tension in that deep of a squat made my head a little dizzy but yeah definitely happy with that so I want to continue adding these in as frequently as I can because it's a pretty I mean it's more of a like it's difficult from like the mobility standpoint but not so much from like if I'm doing a snatch push press, I have to load a bunch of weight to do those. So these are obviously a lot easier just to have 50 kilos versus, you know, 130 or whatever for those. But productive day, very happy with uh, the heavy day. And it shows me that despite my fears, training is continuing to go in the correct direction. So I just kind of have to stay the course, try to develop the snatch as much as I can and see where I stand at the end of this week. And, you know, Worst comes to worst, I just push everything back till November or whatever, unless I can find something in the summer, and then to try to get consistent. If I can get consistent doing 120, 125 in heavy training sessions, then I'm gonna feel really confident to try even more um, at the competition. I think that will be the tentative plan, at least to open 120, go 125, 130 um, if we can, but. I got started hitting 120, 125 a lot um, for that to be a rea reality. And that starts with being dominant with 120. So got to continue to build that. But that's going to be it for this mic'd up video. If you made it to the last, I guess the last video in this one and all of them, <laughs> hopefully all the videos, then I appreciate it. But that's going to be it for this one. I'll talk to you all in the next one and I hope you have a great day. Peace.